this dog was chained to a tree and left by its owner. After one year, you won't believe the dog's revenge. There are some people in the world who should not be allowed pets, and unfortunately, this man was one of them as he tied his young puppy to a tree and left it to defend itself. The story began with a man who was given a Staffordshire Bull Terrier puppy as a gift for Christmas one year. At first, the man loved his new pet and would spend hours playing with her, walking her, and giving her lots of love. The puppy seemed to fit right into her new home and loved her new owner. To her, there was no one else that she would rather spend time with, as she believed her owner loved her plenty. Because the man lived in an apartment building, he didn't have his own garden to let the dog run around in, so two times a day he would take his new puppy down to the apartment's courtyard and let her spend a bit of time running around and getting a bit of exercise. Things seemed to be going well for the two for a while, but then everything changed. The man began dating a woman that he had met at his work. The two seemed to like each other quite a lot, and the man began to spend the majority of his time with her instead of looking after his dog. He would constantly forget to take the little pup for walks, and on some occasions he even forgot to feed her as he spent the night at his girlfriend's home. When the man's girlfriend would go to his house, she would always insist that the dog should be locked in the bathroom as she did not like the animal and did not want it around her. The man obliged and would force the poor pup into a room all by herself for hours. After a few months of dating, the man and his girlfriend decided that they wanted to take their relationship further and move in together. However, one of the rules that the girlfriend had was that she did not want the dog to come with them. The man agreed to get rid of the dog as he did not want to lose his girlfriend. After researching how to surrender a dog to a shelter, the man discovered that he would have to pay a surrendering fee. Not wanting to spend money on something he deemed as unworthy, the man drove to a lesser populated area and found an abandoned house. He parked his car up and got the puppy out of the boot. He walked her to the backyard of the abandoned property and found a sturdy tree. Whilst the innocent pup was happily sniffing her new surroundings, the man took her leash and tied it tightly around the trunk of the tree. He then got back up and walked off, not once looking back as the dog began to bark and whine when she couldn't follow him. For the first few days, the young pup would bark, howl, and whine for her owner to come back for her, but with no food and very little water available to her, the puppy soon began to weaken and lose her strength. After a few weeks, she had lost a lot of weight and had all but given up on the idea that she was going to be rescued. But then, everything changed. One day, a man named Kyle was walking down the street near the abandoned house. He didn't usually walk that way, but it was a nice day and he decided to go for a longer walk, somewhere a bit quieter. As he was walking by the house, he suddenly heard a noise. It had sounded like a high-pitched cry, but he wasn't sure. He stopped for a few moments to see if he would hear it again, and once again, he heard the whine. Realizing that it was coming from the backyard of the abandoned house, the man got confused. He knew that no one lived in the building, it was clear to see from its derelict facade, so what was making the noise? Kyle began to make his way into the backyard, concerned that perhaps a wild animal had gotten caught in some garbage and needed help getting free. But what he found instead broke his heart. There, tied up to the tree, was the staffy puppy. At first, Kyle was confused. Why was this dog here and whose was it? But as he got closer, he soon came to understand the situation and it left him incredibly angry. After seeing the lead tied around the tree, Kyle knew that someone had left the dog there on purpose, knowing full well that she would soon die from starvation. Thankfully, the animal-loving man had turned up in time as the puppy was emaciated and clearly wouldn't have lasted much longer. Kyle knew that he had to help the dog, but he wasn't sure how to approach the situation. He didn't know if the canine was dangerous or aggressive and didn't want to get too close straight away, just in case it was. With this in mind, the man stood and promised the dog that he would be back before he quickly made his way out of the backyard. After roughly half an hour, Kyle returned, and this time he was better prepared. In one hand, he carried some dog food, and in the other, he had a new lead. Upon seeing that the man had come back, the puppy began to wag her tail. Kyle took this as a good sign, however, he was still cautious in approaching her. 
At first he stood a few feet away, just out of range of the length of her lead, and began to throw food in her direction. The dog happily ate the meal, relieved to finally have something in his stomach again. After doing this a few more times, Carl dared to get a little bit closer until he was able to reach out a hand and touch the canine. He soon established a good connection with the animal and constantly reassured her that he was going to help her. Seemingly understanding him, the young canine began wagging her tail again. Kyle laid some more food on the ground in front of her, before then slipping the new lead over her neck. He then used a pair of scissors to cut the old lead and finally set the pup free from her restraint. Sensing that she could move again, the young dog happily followed after Kyle as he led her to the front of the house where his car was waiting. The kind-hearted man lifted the canine into the car before then driving her to the local vets. Once at the vets, the dog was given a full health check. The vets determined that she was roughly only six months old and that she was incredibly emaciated. But apart from that, she appeared to be a healthy young dog. All of the veterinary staff soon fell in love with the little pup and gave her the name Nelly. The young animal would often give her rescuers lots of hugs and kisses as if thankful for their help. Kyle agreed to foster the canine whilst she healed. At first, the little dog was nervous in her new environment. She didn't know how to behave. This was because the last time she was in a home, she was often shut away in different rooms by herself. But Kyle made sure to give her plenty of love and cuddles and let her know that she wouldn't be treated so awfully again. It wasn't long before Nelly was coming out of her shell and turning into a proper joyful puppy. And as the months went by, Kyle found himself falling in love with the pup's personality. She was full of energy and excitement. But most of all, all she wanted to do was give Kyle as much love and affection as she could, as if to thank him for saving her life. When the time came for Nelly to be put up for adoption, Kyle simply couldn't do it. And so, he decided to adopt her himself. A year later, Nelly was back to her healthy and boisterous self. She gave all of her love to Kyle, who happily returned it, and the two lived happily, grateful to have found each other. Sometimes it just goes to show that the best revenge is living your life to the fullest, despite what others may want. Let me know what you thought of the story in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing tales.